Yeah, thank you friends for this opportunity for this short sharing about STEM. I will restrict myself to one point, his effort to combine his religious commitment with his social commitment and intellectual commitment. That is what religious committed to social justice and intellectual life have to go through. Combine the three without compromising any of those points. And that's what Stan did. That's what I saw him doing from the first time I met him in September 1977. Then he was busy with the struggle of the bonded laborers, but he always got his inspiration from Jesus, from the Nazareth Manifesto of Jesus. And he quoted it quite often. He was prepared for intellectual life, but he wanted activist life. Initially, he was a pure activist, but later slowly he came down to combining his intellectual life with his activist life and the religious inspiration was always there. He struggled with the bonded laborers, with the Dalits. Again, in Tamil Nadu, he was very deeply involved in the struggle of the bonded laborers, owned by a powerful uh, politician. He never gave up, though he had to pay a high price for it. And then came his struggle with the Adivasi, the tribals of Jharkhand. And that is what cost him his life. He was called a Naxalite because he would not let, uh, would not allow the state to take over tribal land, to turn them into bonded laborers or to jail them unnecessarily. He fought against the jailing, unfair jailing of more than 3,000 of them. He fought against land alienation. He fought against uh, the loss of their identity. But all along, he wrote about it, he reflected on it, and he's got his inspiration from his religious life. And thank you, Stan for this combination of your religious, intellectual, and activist life.